sometimes I'm on the internet and I see these things and everyone is sharing them and I'm like, is this a thing? You'd think we would know. Let's do a bit of research and find out. Okay, so here's the deal. I was out getting sushi with my friends. Yeah. Then I saw this thing on Facebook. You're supposed to take this little bit and then you're supposed to put it next to that little bit and it's supposed to be this pretty little thing you can see on Dwell. But is that real? Luckily, I was hungry for sushi that day. I picked up my chopsticks. Look, look at this. Grabbed them like so. And... Wait a minute, do we even know anything about chopsticks? From what I can find, the Chinese have been using chopsticks since 1200 BC, but they didn't start using them as utensils until 400 AD when the population bloomed and they needed a way to get lots and lots of utensils to lots and lots of people. They spread through Asia, and then in 1878, the Japanese created the bamboo disposable ones that we use today. Now this is where that supposed life hack comes in. I found the original patent, or at least the oldest one that Google Patents has, number CN862001678U, dual purpose chopsticks with picking up and forking. As you can see, it's in Chinese. However, Ha <laughs> Vindicated! If you look at this patent application, you can see there's no indication that there's a stand of any kind. I'm not cherry picking my patents. There's spork ones, there's split ones, there's holders, there's springs, there's hinges. After looking at so many patents, you eventually figure out what to search for. A chopstick rest. Turns out there are lots of them, like this one. A chopstick set with a stand or rest attached. With all those different chopsticks, why would they invent one with a stand if it's supposed to be broken off and used as a stand? Were those people lying to us? Let's go back to the sushi restaurant and figure out exactly what these things are for, right? This yeah. is not a thing. My parents are like flat earthers. Oh, really? And, uh, super conservative. You just yeah. broke your not shoes. a thing. Where's the suburb? Not a thing. Uh, Where a lot of I'm a researcher, so I looked into this stuff, and there are a lot of chopstick rests. There's no way anyone would make you break off the end of yours, especially with this patent, and if there are this many cute ones. Oh my god, look at it! Pandas! So this is not a thing. And stop spreading it around the internet. Please. It's less cramped than New York, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Where a lot of people just move for a career, just for Especially in tech. Yeah. That's the only reason I moved out here.